Mass this morning is that of the feast of St. John Fisher and St. Thomas More, martyrs in the English Church. And our Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the souls of Daniel Ryan Don and Daniel Ryan Raymond, whose anniversaries occur about this time. Can we also remember this morning at Mass, uh, Linda Withy. Linda buried her husband, Mick, here last Friday and came to Mass at 8.30 on Sunday morning, went home, suffered a massive heart attack and has died. A special welcome to all those watching at home this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Here now in the presence of God, our loving Father, let's pause for a moment and call to mind our own sin. was sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. We, Almighty God, have mercy on us and lead us with our sins forgiven to eternal life. Let us pray. O God, who in martyrdom have brought true faith to its highest expression. Graciously grant that, strengthened through the intercession of St. John Fisher and Thomas More, we may confirm by the witness of our life the faith we profess with our lips. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. My dear people, you must not think it unaccountable that you should be tested by fire. There is nothing extraordinary in what has happened to you. If you can have some share in the sufferings of Christ, be glad, because you will enjoy a much greater gladness when his glory is revealed. It is a blessing for you when they insult you for bearing the name of Christ because it means that you have the spirit of glory, the spirit of God resting on you. None of you should ever deserve to suffer for being a murderer, a thief, a criminal or an informer. But if any one of you should suffer for being a Christian, then he is not to be ashamed of it. He should thank God that he has been called one. The time has come for the judgment to begin at the household of God, and if what we know now is only the beginning, what will it be when it comes down to those who refuse to believe God's good news? If it is hard for a good man to be saved, what will happen to the wicked and to sinners? So even those whom God allows to suffer must trust themselves to the constancy of the Creator, and go on doing good. The Word of the Lord. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are are sowing sowing in tears tears will will sing sing when they they reap. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. 
Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not suppose I've come to bring peace to the earth. It's not peace I've come to bring, but a sword. For I've come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be those of his own household. Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who prefers son or daughter to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who does not take up his cross and follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. And anyone who finds his life will lose it. And anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, now, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring on this, the feast of the holy martyrs, St. John Fisher and Thomas More, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. And so now with the angels and the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Now proclaim together the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them now into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glory find you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Let's now pray for the coming of that kingdom in the words that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. O oh, Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's now turn towards each other and wish each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. But to all those making an act of spiritual communion at home this morning, let these words echo in your heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire now to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renew us, Lord, we pray, with this food from heaven, and strengthen us by the example and the prayers of your martyrs, St. John Fisher and Thomas More, so that always following the voice of conscience, we may never, we may be ever your good servants, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is now ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you. Have a good day.